So I like to think of myself as a pragmatic optimist. I like to look at the positive side of things. I do fully realize that there are often some not so positive sides of things, especially these days with coronavirus and social distancing and worries about how to shop safely and everything that we are all going through. And I know it's there, but I choose, and yes, it is a choice, um, I choose to focus on the positives. So for me, the best thing that is happening right now because of the coronavirus is my connection to people. Even with the social distancing, I am finding that I am, or because of the social distancing, I am finding that I am making more regular connections with people that I don't always reach out to on a regular basis. So my siblings and I now have a weekly Zoom gathering um, on Saturday mornings after I've now been Zooming with the coffee ladies, a group of septuagenarians and octogenarians that my mother had coffee with for years every Saturday morning, and we have kept it going since she passed. Um, and, you know, they are all in the high risk group and are not, for the most part, not leaving their houses. Um, and so I've been teaching them how to connect on Zoom. Um, a, a group of friends from graduate school that I see some of, you know, once a year uh, at the summer place in Michigan. But we're now, we've set up a bi-weekly Zoom gathering. Um, a friend from Italy who I stayed with, I am now Zooming with on a regular basis to see how things are going over there. Um, and so even with all of the social distancing and the, you know, I work from home alone, um, I'm feeling more connected in many ways and connected to people that are important to me. And so Red Tent is now meeting via Zoom because we want to be cautious and not gather when we don't need to. We don't have living rooms that will allow us to be six to 10 feet away. Um, so with all of the struggles that everybody is experiencing, there's still a bright side to look at.